Shan Casino Resort's Pipa Event Center was packed as visitors from near and far came out to enjoy the EP Expo. This three-day event was everything Elvis, with fans who just couldn't get enough of the king of rock and roll. It is amazing. It's hard for me to stay in my chair. Oh, wonderful. They are excellent, excellent. And, and he has got to be so proud that people want to do what he did or carry out what he did. And, and his looks, he was so good looking. He made every girl in the world just shiver when they saw him. <laughs> oh, the, well, first of all, the crowd is just electric. You know, we've had some great crowds, uh, a lot of Elvis fans. And even if you're not an Elvis fan, you just love music and so forth, people are having a great time. The crowd is really exciting. We're riding motorcycles and he just rides up one day and he says, I'm going to buy this house and uh, how about we look around? And I thought it was an investment. And we look at the home, and it's right next to Grayson, right next to his father's house on Dolan. And he looks at my wife, and he says, Louise, do you like this house? And she said, oh, yeah, we live in an apartment. It's beautiful. She pulls the keys out of his pocket and drops them in her hand, very dramatic, and says, good, it's yours. And she looked at him and had that classic response, you know, Elvis, you can't do this. And he said, honey, I'm rich. I can do anything I want. Everything. The guy was just the best entertainer that this world will ever see. His music, his movies, it, just everything. What's not, what's there not to like about Elvis? The crowd at this place, is. this is one of my favorite competitions because the people that run it are such awesome and great people. They're godly people and I just love this competition. It's my favorite one every year. I'm always making sure that I'm here. Well, I remember one day when he was having the Lisa Marie, uh, he bought the airplane and having it fixed, and this was in Texas. So he says, Charles, send a Learjet to get me. I'm going to come down and see the airplane. This is a Sunday morning. I said, so I'm supposed to call a aircraft company and tell them to go to Memphis and pick up Elvis Presley, and he'll pay you when you get there. Yeah, right. I did. He gets on this airplane, which is torn completely apart, and it's 100 degrees. It is burning on the tarmac. He stays in there 45 minutes. He's got his long sleeve shirt on, dressed like Elvis. We're dying outside in the hangar. And inside, all you see is aluminum and wires because they had just stripped it out and getting ready to redo it. He comes out of there sweating, you know, like we are, but happy as a kid in a candy store. And we're dying. And, you know, what's wrong with y'all? What are you? Treat me like a fool. Yes, that's my favorite. Blue Christmas. Blue Hawaii. People are having a really good time here. They're playing these slot machines. They're enjoying themselves. The energy level is high. Uh, the food is good. The drinks are very affordable. And the show is great. Fantastic group of uh, staff to work with. Uh, I can't, honestly, I can't say enough. I mean, there's been some casinos we go to, and you, you can't say that. But I can honestly say about the Kashan. Uh, treated everyone with superb respect. Um, they love Elvis, and it's a great place to be. He just will never die. That's, that's it.